In this mechanism, we're going to look at one of the most important reactions in synthesis, and that is the introduction of a new carbon-carbon bond, or ascending and homologous series. And the only, only way we can do this is to use the cyanide ion. The cyanide ion is carbon triple bond nitrogen, and in this case, the lone pair of electrons is on the carbon atom because these will be donated to the electron deficient carbon atom on the halo alkane. Again, as you've seen in the other mechanisms, um, as the lone pair of electrons moves in on the electron deficient carbon, these pair of electrons will repel this pair of electrons in this covalent bond sufficiently eventually the bromine atom will take them with it. If we look at the next step of the mechanism, the new bond that is formed is unique. We have now gone from a carbon to a new carbon-carbon bond. This molecule is called a nitrile. Don't forget the bromine, never forget the bromine. The bromine atom has left, taking away a pair of electrons, and because it's got one more electron than it had it before, it now has a negative charge. If we look at a particular example, we'll use a very, very simple haloalkane. Let's look at bromomethane as an example here. So the bromomethane will be attacked by cyanide ions. And again, it's a substitution reaction as the bromine is substituted by the nucleophile. If we look at the new molecule that's formed, it now has two carbons, where the first molecule had one. Notice the net charge is the same on both sides. as a negative charge on the cyanide ion. The bromide ion now has a negative charge. Remember, the net charge on both sides must be the same. This new molecule here has now got two carbons, so its name therefore begins with the suffix ethane. Do not forget the E because you'll get penalised by the AQA. It's called ethane nitrile. It belongs to the homologous series, the nitriles.